It was a really eventful weekend of footballing action um, and uh, we've been talking a lot about the title race but there's also the relegation picture that still needs to be decided. Sheffield United currently are bottom, they're on 15 points, so then it's Burnley, three points better off than them. Uh, they're four points off safety Burnley with Luton alongside Nottingham Forest but Luton in the final three on 22 points. Burnley... We have to say, got an incredible draw at Chelsea on mm. Saturday. Twice they went behind, twice they fought back, and they went down to 10 men in the first half as well. We'll talk about those decisions in that game, in particular that red card and the penalty, the first penalty that Chelsea were awarded in that game, um, or the penalty, I should say, that they were awarded. But before all of that, Vincent Company also was given a red card by Darren England. He wasn't happy with the penalty, with the red card that was given to Lawrence Assignon as well. Uh, he's been speaking this morning to the media, and this is what he had to say about it all. I'll keep saying what I think, you know, uh, it's, uh, I'm not going to shy away from it. I've said it to, to the referees themselves, the officials, I've said it, you know, um, to all the responsibles um, that, that I thought, you know, refereeing hasn't been good enough this season. And, and I have said that in, in, I think, a constructive way, understanding as well the fact that it's not easy for them, that the scrutiny is massive, the pressure is, is bigger than it's ever been on the officials. Um, I think the the uh, the addition of of VAR and obviously more opinions, more officials um, doesn't make it easy for them to do their job. So that's absolutely something uh, absolutely something I, I take into consideration. Okay, so that's what he had to say, and he's speaking, yeah. of course, because Burnley are in action this week, as all the teams are. They are hosting Wolves tomorrow night in a seven forty five kickoff. He got a red card, as I said, because he wasn't happy with the decision to award Chelsea a penalty just before half-time. Not only that, Asignon got a second yellow, which resulted then, of course, with him being sent off. He has since apologised to the referees, but he has indicated there he's, he's not happy with the standard of refereeing. I think a lot of managers have, would perhaps echo that as well. A lot of managers have been a little disgruntled by some decisions this season. What did you make, first of all, of that penalty? Was he right to be angry about that decision to award Chelsea that penalty yeah, as well as the second yellow. Hundred percent. It's never a red card and it's never a penalty. It's never a penalty. First of all, yeah. He's just got his body in between the ball and Mudrick, and Mudrick goes over. Normally, the two of them would grapple to get back to the ball. Mm -hmm. Mudrick's gone over. It's never. A, it's never a penalty. And I was a bit confused. Unless I, I mean, we, none of us know the rules anymore because <laughs> they've changed that many of them. Right. I don't know. Someone's going to have to tell me this. What? I, like, I didn't think you could get sent off if he's given a penalty. I thought it was double jeopardy. Well, it was the second yellow, wasn't it? Was that what it was? The second yeah. yellow. So it's slightly uh, so, different. Yeah. I was wondering why. I only looked at the highlight. But um, he's right, what he said about uh, the standard of refereeing. I don't agree with him saying it's not easy for him anymore. It, I, I, they can't get any more help. Referees, but, right. Yeah. It can never be easier for a referee than it is now. You've got a screen on the side of the pitch... And you've got six angles and four or five minutes to work out whether the decision was correct. Never used to have any of that years ago. You used to have to just, your eyes had to tell you the truth. Yeah, but it's interesting. And look, to play devil's advocate, I know what you're saying, but the fact we have VAR, the fact we have people checking decisions, does that actually heighten the scrutiny? Because we're expecting a perfect officiation, officials in this. Well... I, after everything I've said, it's easier for referees now than ever, providing the man sat in the VAR chair right. actually understands football. Okay. There's no point in another, putting another referee up there who hasn't got a clue. He just makes another bad decision yeah. that he made on Saturday when he was refing. So the man who sits in the VAR chair is causing all the problems. It's not VAR. It's the man who sat in the chair looking at a decision five times and still getting it wrong. I mean, I didn't think the two penalties, the Newcastle game, were penalties. Okay, both involved both of them. Anthony Gordon in that one. Um, yeah, and both in different halves. Okay, so you didn't think either were a penalty. Um, Calvin, a lot of people, especially the Calvin Phillips one, feel, a bit un feel as though the West Ham midfielder was unlucky, came on as a substitute, conceded a penalty, where it looked as though he was clearly trying to clear the ball. Gordon sort of sneaks in just at the end, just as he's about to clear it. And he brings down Gordon and it results in a penalty. But for you, what, that's just a natural coming together in the game. That's Therefore, it shouldn't be a pen. Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, he's kicked Gordon's leg. He's not brought him down. He's kicked mm. his leg because Gordon put his coming, leg right. there. Yeah, uh, Phillips is looking at the ball, going to clear it. 
Anthony Gordon's tried to get his leg round him to hook the ball. Anthony Gordon has missed the ball mm. and put his leg in front of the ball as if to say, go on, kick that. It, I mean, look, I, I agree with you in the sense I don't know what Phillips could have done no, because he has no idea that Gordon's coming. If he, he turned it around, fingers. if he turned it around and yep. say Gordon was the defender mm-hmm. and Phillips was the attacker. You'd probably say Philip, uh, Gordon was fouling Phillips then. Yeah. So mm. And these things happen in the box sometimes. sometimes yeah. That's where if you understand football... When you're looking at it, you can see what Gordon's motive was and you can see what Phillips' problem was. He was looking at the ball, he stuck his foot in front of him as he was clearing it and the other one, Anthony Gordon's been clever, he stuck his leg in there again as if to say, go on, kick that. I've done it. Mm-hmm. I used to do it. Mm-hmm. I could see someone was going to try, they think they can get the ball, I'd put my foot at the side of the ball. Go on in. They go right through you. Mm-hmm. Brainless. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.